Good afternoon, race fans. Welcome to Concord, North Carolina. We're at Concord Speedway today for 40 fast laps in the iRacing Advanced Legends Cup Series. This event will feature outstanding drivers from across the United States and around the world. Let's have a look at today's starting lineup. Starting in the 12th spot in car number 99, that is Jacob Johnson. Jake in the Green Bay Packers Legends car out of Bailey, Colorado. He's going to show up on your screen as driving car 99. But on the telemetry down in the bottom right-hand corner, he'll show up as car number 11. Starting in the 11th spot in car number 8, racing with us from the Carolinas region, that's Hudson Canape. Hudson didn't make the starting grid in time, so he will be starting from the pits. Starting in the 10th spot in car number 7, that is Caden Fletcher. Caden from the Mid-South region, also starting from the pits. Starting in the 9th spot in car number 3, that is Nathan Marold from Pennsylvania. Nathan also starting from the pits. So three drivers, 11th, 10th, and 9th starting from the pits. That's going to move Jake Johnson into the ninth starting spot. Starting in the 8th spot in car number 4, racing out of Traveler's Rest, South Carolina in the Hot Wheels Legends car, it's Eric Hegdahl. In the 7th starting spot, it's Anthony Scott in car number 5, the Jim Beam Legends car out of the Carolinas. Starting in the 6th spot in car number 6, also racing out of the Carolinas, this was the Mountain Dew car of Austin Falcone. Now your top 5 starters. Starting in the 5th spot in car number 1, racing out of California, that's Harrison Bontempo. Starting in the 4th spot in car number 12, racing out of Ohio, it's Kira Huff. Starting in the 3rd spot in car number 10, that's Nicholas Cowan in the Hooters car out of Florida. Now, your front two on the front row outside in the Missing Fingers Fireworks Legends car out of California, that is Craig Henneke. And on the pole in car number one, the Sparco car of Cameron Frentress, Cameron racing out of Indiana. This event features some great talent. These drivers, the nine that made the field, account for 262 wins in iRacing Asphalt Series races. That would include any asphalt series, uh, oval series, not just uh, Legends cars. Still a great field as we watch the drivers come around the speedway. That's car number nine, Cameron Frentress on the pole. The pace car leads the field as they circle the track. The lights are off on the pace car. Looks like someone's decided to snuggle up and make it three wide. That would be the Hooters car of... Nicholas Cowan, the pace car is in. The nine leads the way. That's Cameron Frentress. Frentress into turn number four now as they head out onto the front straightaway. Frentress hammers the throttle. The two doesn't get up to speed. That's Craig Henneke. Henneke holds the field up as Frentress takes the lead, followed by the 10 of Nicholas Cowan. Looks like Henneke gets into the outside wall right out of the gate. Big crash. That is Craig Henneke with real problems. It's the nine of Cameron Frentress in the lead, followed by the 10 of Nicholas Cowan. Looks like Kira Huff's currently running third. Harrison Bomtempo is in fourth, and Anthony Scott fifth. Jake Johnson has moved from the 12th spot, that last spot on the field, into the sixth. There's another tag, and it's the two into the wall again. Goodness, the two taking another hard ride. As out front, we see Cameron Frentress all by himself. Frentress one, Huff two, Cowan three, Bomb Tempo four, Jake Johnson now in the fifth spot with Anthony Scott sixth, Austin Falcone seventh, Eric Hegdahl in eighth, and Craig Henneke in that two car after two hard crashes sits in the pits in the ninth spot. Out front, it is still Cameron Frentress. We're four laps in. Frentress has really pulled away from the field. Cameron Frentress with a big lead over the 12 of Kira Huff with Bomb Bomb Tempo third, Jake Johnson has now moved into the fourth spot. It looks like things have settled down just a bit. Let's have a look at the way they run on the field. Out front, it's the nine of Cameron Frentress. Just behind Frentress on the speedway, that's the 12 of Kira Huff. Huff currently shown in the second spot. Just behind Huff, it's car number one of Harrison Bomb Tempo. And Jake Johnson in the 99 trying to find his way around the one of Bomb Tempo he has now looks to the outside of the 12 of Kira Huff. Johnson trying to find his way around Huff as they come up on the lapped car. That's the nine of Frentress. Frentress looks like he must have spun, so it's going to be Kira Huff with the lead. Huff first. Johnson looks like he's going to be second. 
Frentress has dropped into the third spot. Jake Johnson, the beneficiary of some bad luck there for Cameron Frentress. It's going to be Jake second. And Kira Huff going into the pits. What's happened here? We're seven laps in. Kira Huff in the pits. Cameron Frentress looks to the inside of Jake Johnson. Frentress, your early leader, had gotten off to a big gap, but now having some trouble. Jake Johnson continuing to lead. That's the two yet again around backwards. Some real, real trouble here on the racetrack. Johnson leads the field as they come past the start finish line. Jake Johnson leading Cameron Frentress. It's Johnson, Frentress, Bomb Tempo, Huff, Falcone, Hegdahl, and Scott with Cowan out of the race and Craig Henneke still in the pits. Johnson now beginning to pull away. It looks like Cameron Frentress maybe has had some more trouble. Jake Johnson all of a sudden just running away from the rest of the field. We can see that Kira Huff has pulled back out of the pits. She's dropped all the way to the sixth spot. Jake Johnson, 10 laps in, has a huge lead at Concord. Johnson out of turn four onto the front straightaway. He leads as we start lap number 11 of 40. Jake Johnson closing in on the Hot Wheels car of Eric Hegdahl. Hegdahl currently in fifth, the last car on the lead lap. Johnson in that flying Green Bay Packer Legends car comes out of turn number four. He's closing in very quickly on the... Oh, and a crash! Johnson gets caught up in an accident with the six. That's Austin Falcone. Jake Johnson having all kinds of trouble here. Can he get back up to speed and hold off car number one of Harrison Bomtempo? Bomtempo now about a car length behind Johnson. Jake Johnson having real trouble there after the six of Austin Falcone went around. That collected, it looked like Eric Hegdahl in the four and also got Jake Johnson in the 99. Johnson, though, seems to be no worse for the wear as he started to pull away from the one of Harrison Bomtempo. Let's have a look at the way they run on the speedway out front. It is Jake Johnson in car number 99, the Green Bay Packers Legends car, just behind Johnson on the speedway. That is the one of Harrison Bomtempo. Bomtempo currently in the second spot. Behind Harrison Bomtempo on the speedway, that looks like it must be the 12 of Kira Huff. Huff currently shown in the fourth spot, two laps down. Behind Huff on the speedway, that's the nine of Cameron Frentress. Frentress in third. He is on the lead lap about five seconds back of Jake Johnson. Behind Frentress on the speedway, the next car in line, it's the two of Craig Henneke. Henneke with some bad luck early. He is currently 12 laps down in the ninth spot. Behind Henneke, the next car on the speedway, that's Jake Johnson. So right now, only five cars on the speedway. Johnson, Bomb Tempo, Frentress, Huff, and Henneke. Anthony Scott looks like he has rejoined the field as well. He's spun right in front of the leader, Jake Johnson, having all kinds of challenges trying to stay ahead of lapped cars, cars all over the place and all kinds of out of control here at Concord Speedway. We are 17 laps in to a 40-lap feature. Jake Johnson holds the lead. He's extending that lead over Harrison Bomb Tempo. Frentress running in the third spot. Those three cars on the lead lap. Behind them, Kira Huff two laps down in fourth. Austin Falcone five laps down in fifth. Eric Hegdahl six laps, six laps down in sixth. Anthony Scott seven laps down in seventh. And Craig Henneke now being shown 12 laps down in eighth. Nicholas Cowan is out of the race. He will finish ninth. So eight cars remain on the speedway. Three of those cars on the lead lap. It looks like the Hot Wheels car of Eric Hegdahl trying to close on Jake Johnson. Hegdahl on newer, fresher tires. Johnson having been involved in that incident with the six of Austin Falcone. It's going to be Johnson with the lead as they come out of turn number two onto the back straightaway through the little dog leg on the back side of Concord. Johnson now into turn three. He'll go through the center of three and four. It's out onto the front straightaway. We could just see the two of Craig Henneke trying to get out of the pits again. Henneke having all kinds of trouble here at Concord. Johnson leading the field down the back straightaway into turn number three. Jake Johnson at the halfway point is leading this race. It's Johnson, Frentress, Bomtempo, Huff, and Falcone, your top five. Eric Hegdahl in sixth with Scott, Henneke, and Cowan rounding out the top nine. Jake Johnson through the dogleg now down onto the back straightaway. Johnson into turn number three, turns in right at the Coca-Cola sign, rolls through the center of three and four, comes out onto the front straight. Johnson, a little bit of a beat-up race car. You can see that front bumper is a little uh, mangled and bent. Johnson, though, seems to be holding up a good pace as we can watch the 
The Hot Wheels car of Eric Hegdahl, currently shown in the fifth spot. Hegdahl pushing up as he came out of turn number four. Sorry, turn number two. Johnson now out of four onto the front straightaway. There are 17 laps to go. Jake Johnson with the lead. Let's have a look at how they run on the field. Johnson currently being shown in the first spot. Next car on the speedway is the Hot Wheels car. That's car number four, Eric Hegdahl. He's currently shown in fifth, six laps down. Behind Hegdahl, that's the nine of Cameron Frentress. Frentress about six seconds back in the second spot. Behind Frentress, the next car on the speedway, that's the 99 of Jake Johnson. So right now... Only four cars on, sorry, only three cars on the speedway. Johnson, Frentress, and Hegdahl. Everyone else is either in the pits or out of the race. This becoming a race of attrition. Concord, very difficult speedway. It's really easy to get sideways coming out of four, spin that car around in front of traffic. It's also really easy to miss your mark as you come into the dog leg and then find yourself slipping up against the wall as you come into turn number three. Both of those really tough challenges in the Legends cars here. Let's let's see what it might look like from the front bumper of Jake Johnson's car. We can see Johnson now comes into turn number three through the center of three and four, tries to get the car right down on the yellow line, then lets it drift back out to the high line. He's going to cross the start finish line. Now into the dog leg down the back straightaway. Johnson off the throttle a little bit. He's going to come into turn number three, let the car roll down right onto the apron. The car pushes up just a little bit coming out of the dog leg. Now it's Johnson in three and four. Jake Johnson doing a nice job here. Let's walk right with him one more time. Johnson now comes into turn number one off the throttle. Let's the car roll through the center of one and two. He's going to come into the dog leg here, hammer down on the throttle. He's going to hold that throttle all the way through the dog leg. Now up against the wall. He's going to turn in right at that orange sign as he comes in through three and four and lets the car roll through the center of the corner back out onto the front straightaway. Jake Johnson with some pretty quick laps. At Concord, let's see what it looks like riding along from the inside. You can see a little damage there to the front end of the Johnson's Legends car. Jake Johnson involved in that accident with a six of Austin Falcone. Johnson turns down into number one now. You can see he's giving it a little bit of wheel off the throttle now back on. Car slips a little bit coming out of two. Right through the dog leg wide open up against the wall now turning in into three. Johnson letting the car drift down to the apron, rolls back into the throttle. It's a nice lap there. There are 10 laps now, nine laps to go. Johnson with the lead, followed by Frentress. Eric Hegdahl has moved up into the third spot with Harrison Bomtempo fourth, Kira Huff fifth, and Austin Falcone in the sixth position. That's Jake Johnson. Eight laps to go this time by. Johnson running a nice smooth race after that incident with Falcone. He's done a good job staying out of trouble. Jake Johnson, right now a battle of attrition. Three cars left on the speedway. It's Johnson, Frentress, Hegdahl, as Austin Falcone is in the pits, as is Anthony Scott. We can see the sixth car of Falcone headed into the pits there. Johnson continuing to lead. It will be Jake Johnson, Cameron Frentress, Eric Hegdahl, Harrison Bomb Tempo, Austin Falcone, Kira Huff, Anthony Scott, Craig Henneke, and Nicholas Cowan. Johnson all by himself, closing in on what looks like it must be the, the nine of Cameron Frentress. Johnson trying to put Frentress a lap down. If he does that, he will have lapped the field. There are five laps to go. Jake Johnson closing in on the nine of Cameron Frentress. It's Johnson in first. Frentress in second spot, nearly a lap down. Johnson goes by Frentress, and that'll put the field a lap down. Jake Johnson will have put a lap on the field at Concord with four laps to go this time by Jake Johnson. Running a fantastic race, staying out of trouble, being nice, smooth, and quick. You know, the fast way around any speedway is the smooth way. The smooth drivers tend to be the quickest, those drivers that make the fewest mistakes are easy on the on the uh, tires, do a nice job controlling that race car. Jake Johnson doing exactly that. Three laps to go. Johnson with the lead. Frentress in second. Eric Hegdahl has moved up into the third spot with Bomb Tempo fourth and Austin Falcone in fifth. Johnson lets the car roll out of turn number four. They're going to be two to go this time by. Johnson passed the start-finish line. 
two laps remain in this 40 lap feature event from Concord Speedway in Concord, North Carolina. Jake Johnson threw the dog leg down the back straightaway into turn number three. He lets the car roll into the corner, drifts down toward that yellow line, then hammers the throttle coming out of four. It's the white flag for Jake Johnson. Johnson looks like that Legends car is missing the grill, so that hit with the six of Falcone must have been pretty solid. Out down the back straightaway now, Johnson into turn number three. He lets that car roll again. We heard some sort of a crash there, and it looks like there was a wreck right in front of the leader. Johnson's going to take the checkers as the nine and the six get together. And Johnson gets collected, but it's after the checkered flag. So Jake Johnson with a win in a wild and woolly feature from Concord Speedway. Cameron Frentress will come home second with Eric Hegdahl third, Austin Falcone in fourth. Harrison Bomtempo will be fifth, Kira Huff sixth, Anthony Scott seventh, Craig Henneke eighth, and Nicholas Cowan coming home ninth. Quite the crash fest from Concord Speedway, but Jake Johnson outlasts them all to take the win. For the Johnson Eye Racing team on the Johnson Eye Racing Network, this is Aaron Johnson saying, Go fast, turn left, have fun. <laughs>